Hey everybody and welcome back to Stone Pony and Friends. Today we're playing Prison Architect. There was a little problem with the recording on this one. We missed the first 10 minutes or so. It's not a major problem as you'll see. There's not much planning being put down, just the basic structure of the building. Anyway, let's crack on with it and see where we go. So here we are guys, I've got the basic structure laid out. No rooms planned out as you can see, which I think is what I'm doing now. Yeah, here's my reception, nice and big. And then I was going to put the holding cell there, but I remembered that's just a corridor for different rooms. So I need to put it here where I was planning on putting my showers, but never mind. I'll put them in later. So there you go, holding cell. Nice and big. Although I don't think it needs to be too big because you don't want people in there for very long. But I haven't put no cells down yet, so we'll leave it as it is. Now I'm looking for the canteen. Here we are. This is going to be my canteen and kitchen. There's no separating wall yet, but there will be later on. I'm just planning them out at the minute. So here we go, here's the kitchen. Not too big just yet. But there's enough room there to put quite a few things in. As you'll see later on. Now here I'm going to put my new shower room in. And I don't really want it that big, so... I think I'll go for a 5x5. Five five. It only costs about 2 grand anyway. For the foundations anyway, that is. There we go. You look at the guys whizzing about at full speed. Swarm! <laughs> Bang a jail door in there. And then I am going to mark it down as a shower room when I can find it. Here we are. Now there's the showers. Got a door, got a door. These menus are crazy on the console. It's a lot better on the PC. Oh, there's that wall I was on about. Yeah, I do have this on PC, but they were a good deal on it today. The whole package for 11 quid, so I thought I'd snap it up. There we go, put a door, staff door in there, so only the cooks can go into the room. I think that's what happens anyway. Well, none of the prisoners can go through. So what else do I need to do? I need to put a yard down. Which I forgot about. So I'll go for the fences. When I can find them on these menus. I'll put a door there. There we go. Now I do this a bit wrong. So that's going to put a fence in front of the door. And I could do that one by one. Or do it this way, which I think is the quickest way. I'm not sure if I'm wrong, let me know. There we go, guys back building, top speed. And then I think I'll lay this down as the yard. Yep. The whole thing. Oops. <laughs> Still getting used to the buttons and the zooming and stuff. Now I'll start laying objects in the room. I like how you do this on the console, it's a lot quicker. Now I've put a lot of desks and stuff in these rooms. I don't know if it gets any of the jobs done quicker, but it's a big room. I've got unlimited money, so hey ho, let's do it. We get a few discs laid down. 
I think it's the gods that work these deaths that bring them in. Like I say, I'm not 100% sure. I've not really played this game a lot. But I'm sure putting a few tables down gets the job done quicker. More searching area. Like I, say, I think that's what they use them for anyway. Put one more down here. Get some chairs on these desks. metal detectors on the doors I think I actually need to put power directly to them I'm not sure so I don't think they do anything later on when, go, when the prisoners come I'll have to look into that one so I think I've got all the rooms laid down just a case of filling them with the stuff they need I had a terrible times putting toilets in this room by the way, you'll see later. And every time you go out of the room and come back into it, it puts it in the first object that you put in that room, not the last one you was using. And that did my head. So we've got a few beds down. I do put everything in this room I think. Some benches for chilling out. I think that's where all the newbies sleep in prison rolls. The fresh fish or whatever you call them. This video's sped up to times two as well, so the noises sound very funny, like them drills. <laughs> Here's a shower room. We don't need that yet though. I need to finish this off. So this is where I'm like, why isn't it being a finished room? It's because it's not got toilets in it. I thought you could have them in the shower room and it still work, but it don't. So I put them in and then I put a wall around them to separate them from the rest of the room and then that classes the toilets as a separate holding cell so it goes on for ages I should have cut it out really but I'll just show you my mistakes so you don't make them as well see and I delete and all that's because I'm extending that wall and then that makes that holding cell disappear so I relay that so I think that makes it a separate one a separate holding cell these menus it's going to take ages to get used to them a separate holding cell I can't remember no it didn't I can't remember if that was a problem maybe I'm making that up again oh no it's done it now no it's a separate room so now that's a separate holding cell see me trying to figure it out there we go yeah just delete the walls because you don't have a separate wall for toilets anyway not in prison <laughs> so then I think that creates another problem actually This room wrecked me for ages. And it comes, it all comes together in the end. It does work. It's just the wrong way about doing it. So I probably don't do it this way. <laughs> Whatever I did wrong, 
I don't even know what I did wrong. Especially for that. I hope you can't hear my dog snoring, by the way. Actually, yeah, I think that solves that canteen problem. canteen put plenty of benches and tables down I'm just spinning out to my menus again big canteen with lots of tables and chairs for the cons to eat at hopefully not cause riots plenty of room some soda machines in the bin I'm sure we'll end up needing more I do put some more tables in now. And then some more after these as well. But I think we can only actually hold up to nine people. But forward planning, it's always a good idea. <laughs> so I've been told anyway. So yeah, they won't be able to complain they've not got enough room. So from watching these guys fly by, full speed. I think I had a little storage room here, oh no, the kitchen. I do add a storage room later in that little corner bit there, well that little end of the corridor. Sprinklers just in case we have a fire. It's always a good idea to have them in the kitchen. In case the cooks go postal and burn it down. There we go, that's my kitchen done. Now we move on to the showers. Now it's not a massive shower room, but we're going to put shower heads all the way around it. Should be big enough for the holding cell that we've got at the moment. We'll build a bigger one for the cell when we get that laid down. Now with these drains, I've been told they don't suck water in, but block water. So as long as you've got plenty around your doors, you should be all right. But I'm just going to put them all the way around the room just to be safe. And it should be that for the shower rooms. Yep. Oh, hang on. Yeah, that so we're going to go to move to the yard now. Put some benches and weights and whatnot for the prisoners to use at their own leisure. Probably end up with gang wars out here. Shankins and whatnot. And you can even put a TV outside. Huh. In fact I even I put one down. Shame you can't build basketball courts and stuff for the prisoners to use. I'm sure they'd enjoy that a lot more than benches. There we are. You can't 
go and put them on the bench, but you can throw it to the table. I think that's the yard done. Get these guys building it. And then notice there's a few things that need power. And water. Water is very important for showers. <laughs> the big pipes, you don't want them too close to the cells because I've heard that it's easier for prisoners to dig that than dig tunnels for your big pipes so the small pipes go to the showers and past the cells so they can't tunnel. In fact I even go the long way around with the big pipes to the kitchen because I think you can lose pressure with the smaller pipes so it don't reach very far. What that distance is I don't know. I think I also have to bring some more power down here as well for the fridges and cookers. I forget to put the pipes to my sprinklers as well but I do come back later and do that. Some my prison is without power I guess that means the uh, cookers and that and them lights in the shower room or whatever they are another compacti compacitor down and here's the extra power oh yeah power to the water supply we need that guys are building so yeah now this is I think this is where I notice I need power to the cookers and the TV in the yard I think that's all the power sorted out when that gets laid down and then there's the water pipe for the sprinklers I think this is also where I put the storage room in This is still shown as uh, outside for some reason. I can't remember what I do to sort that out. So yeah, here's the wall for the storage room. Just a small one. Get some of this stuff out of the way. Mark it up as storage when I can find it through these menus. I really can't remember where I saw that room out. Mess about with the doors for a bit. But that don't do nothing. Although I think I've just moved that door and then that might... Does that sort it out? No. What is it? Do I diesel on that and that sorts it out? I think it is that doorway. I think I'll unzone that. So it's not holding so, yeah. Yeah, that's it, that's sorted it. <laughs> so I've just got the 
cooks and the guards to hire now. I owe more than two, I think it's ten I get. Why not when you've got unlimited money? Get three cooks. And that's that for that. Now what's all that? It's doing it again. Oh yeah, the door's been deleted. Huh. Put a new door in. I don't know what's going off with that floor. I tried to cover it up but it don't work. Let me know. I'd fix this if you know. Because I sure don't. I think this is where I try and sort my prisoner and take out. Just try and find it on these million menus. There we are. We'll go for some minimum security first, just to test the water out. Now I would have to wait till daytime, but with the magic of editing, I cut all that out, and it goes to daytime in a second. There we are, they're just pulling in. Let's see what we got. Daniel Harris sentenced five years for money laundering. He's been sentenced for driving under the influence, I think that said. So we should have seven here, yeah, seven of nine capacity. This. And that's blocked off because of the fog of war. You can only see in there when there's a guard or security cameras. As far as I uh, know. Everything's running smooth. It don't look like anybody's brought any contraband either. Fence this area off just here. I'm going to call that apart, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. Thanks, see you later. Bye.